Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer and welcome back to another video. <clears throat> and in this video, what we're going to be talking about is Call of Duty World War II a good casual game. Call of Duty, um, for a long time, was all about Twitch shooting. And Twitch shooting was wham, ba ba ba, wham, ba ba ba, wham. So, in Call of Duty, there was a very big skill gap. But ever since Advanced Warfare, and arguably Call of Duty goes, the skill gap, gap between a good player and an average player has decreased significantly. And you can very much tell this in World War II. In World War II, unless um, you're like me, where you just play the crap out of the game and you're and you try to be amazing at it, you're not going to experience too much of a skill gap. And that's a big thing, right? If you're a casual gamer, you just want to get on, you know, maybe play a couple rounds of Call of Duty. Call of Duty is great, by the way, for those couple rounds, because I mean, it's, it's like, you know, seven minutes a match on average for me. Seven minutes a match. Unless you play Domination, then it's more towards ten, but it's still fast-paced. Um, you know, it's fast-paced, but easy to understand, easy to learn. And there are still slow-paced areas for the casual gamers who really, you know, they, they don't have the time to get so good at Call of Duty that they're amazing. Call of Duty has easy-to-understand systems in it, which make it a great choice for casual gamers, right? I even, I, there's, there's systems in the game beyond creating classes, like gameplay itself, that you could make a YouTube channel on just making like five minute videos about it, right? Maybe you don't know why you keep switching spawns. Watch a five minute video on it. Maybe you don't understand exactly how to make a good class. There's probably a five minute video on it, you know? And there's a lot of, if you know what a meta is, like, different things you should combine to do kind of well but if you don't put in the amount of time to use the meta classes correctly you're not going to really need the meta classes you can do whatever you want in call of duty and the skill gap it's not very big call of duty has easy and hard challenges in it you know to give you some bonus xp it has ways <clears throat> if you want to reset your level and level up from one again that you can do or you can stay at level 55 there's options for that and the most of the weapons are easy to use maybe against two or three people they're a bit harder to use but they're still kind of easy to use there are a lot of game modes in the game and if you're a casual gamer i would stick to game modes like tdm and the reason why is because um, you don't do anything involving free-for-all because, um, in TDM, you're, tr you're trying to contribute to your team, and there are better players than you that will be able to carry you while you learn the game, but really, TDM is an easy-to-understand game mode, you don't have to think about it, and you learn different things in TDM that you can apply to the rest of game modes, like spawn flipping, and where people like to hide and, you know, how the movement of Call of Duty works and how crouching and proning and all that and basically dodging bullets. You learn all those things in TDM and whether or not your classes can actually do their job. Me personally, I think Call of Duty World War II fits the casual gaming mode mold better than most of the other Call of Duties do. It's really, it's a slower paced Call of Duty type game it's got easier to understand guns. Most of the guns actually fire kind of slow. And the time to kill is kind of slower, lower and higher at the same time than, you know, some games. Most of the weapons, very easy to use, easy to understand. Most of the maps are very easy to understand. You know, it's very easy to see where, you know, where the main action is. Where if you don't want so much action, where you can go. You know, all that stuff. That is in Call of Duty World War II, so Call of Duty World War II is a great casual game. Not a great game for people that want to do good at it because, I mean, there is a ranked mode, so if you want to go against tryhards, you know, there is a ranked mode that people go on, um, you know, so there's the casual game modes, there's still people that go on there and wreck noobs, you know. But overall, it's a good casual game, and if you want a good casual game, a good shooter, uh, you can pick up Call of Duty World War II. So that's it, guys. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, you can tell me in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new. I make videos about casual gaming. Like this one, which is about casual gaming. 
I'm Pacific, the casual gamer, and I will see you in the next episode, stream, vlog, or steam it post, whatever I decide to make.